SolidWorks PDM 2023 has raised the bar and continues to be the standard for on-prem data management. One new feature that will make things a lot faster is the ability to copy static text in the data card and use it in other places. No more retyping valuable information. To make your PDM environment even more robust, you can now make custom tooltips in your property fields. You can also have button controls linked to user data, making it easy to find and fill card fields. Administrators can now include user data as variables for transitions and revision comments. This will help improve design history on all files. In addition, the Get dialog box now includes last saved and revision information. PDM administrators have access to the full HTML editor to spice up the workflow notifications. Images can be added for corporate branding and columns can be added for additional insight. And we've all been waiting for. For anyone using SOLIDWORKS MBD, PDM 2023 Convert Task now supports the export of STEP 242 files. Inside the PDM Vault, Windows Explorer now supports the preview thumbnail of eDrawings files. This makes identifying the files much faster. Full PDM previews now support the Microsoft Edge control, allowing you to view any HTML5 content. Administrators can now configure automatic login for the administration tool. Additionally, task host servers can be removed from the execution list, reducing clutter when managing multiple tasks. Administrators can now restore deleted users as well as revoke access for multiple users at one time. Inherited permission from groups are now easy to track down with pop-ups that can be pinned in place. Behind the scenes, many archive server activities like adding, removing, and transitioning files will see significant performance increases in higher latency environments. All traffic between clients and archive servers are now also encrypted.